Welcome back. Uh, we are going to continue our GitLab journey. So I have my trusty CentOS machine and I'm going to log in to the web interface. So technically what we usually do with GitLab is to create a project. And let's do that. We are going to have this uh, blank project. If we want, we can create from template. This is perfectly fine. And let's call this demo. And we have to pick a group or a namespace. And we are going to use root. And we would have a slug, which is totally fine if it's the same as the project name. This is going to be a public project. And I don't want to initialize it with a readme file. All right. So we have a warning which sh uh, tells us that uh, we can't push or pull repositories using SSH until we add an SSH key to our profile. <sighs> we can do this later. And if we go under code, sorry, uh, where are we? We have the code and we have the option to add a file or modify the content of this repository and let's add an ssh key and add the new key and what should we call it SSH. I have one for my user. Reparpy.ssh. And this should be the public key. All right. And hmm, it doesn't have an expiration date. Now let's just add it. All right. And if we go back to the code, so here, demo project, what we can do is the following. Let's uh, open up our prompt. And in the desktop, I have a coding folder. And inside this coding folder, I would like to clone down this one. Uh, let's force demo. Yes. And it should be a recursive. What? It is used by another process. Maybe here. Ha. Huh. No. What is using my file or code? Hmm. Let's clone it somewhere else. Okay. And if you open up the demo folder, you will see that this is an empty Git repository. So let's add readme file readme.md and welcome this is a new repository all right and go ahead and navigate inside the demo folder git add git commit Test git push dash your origin main master master great and if you refresh it you will see that the readme file has arrived. So on the left hand side we have this build and the pipelines and as you can see 
there are currently no pipeline definitions in my file and what I want to do is to add a pipeline definition so for example new file and this is called gitlab ci.yaml all right and we are going to have the testing and script is going to be echo testing and we are going to have the build script echo building and release script echo releasing all right now we have the gitlab ci.yaml and what i want to do is to add it so add git commit and created the ci cd definition git push dash origin master okay and as you can see now we have the ci cd definition and we can see that it is stuck why is it stuck it is stuck because if we go to the admin area and check ci cd and check the runners we do not have any runners so let's create a runner uh, what we have to do is to click on this new instance runner and yeah, this registration process is not supported okay then what we would like to do is that we want to see the install instructions and technically download a runner so basically here what we want to do is to copy this command enter the cento 8a machine and paste it so now it should go out and download the runner not working so how did it be yes. latest binaries gitlab runner linux amd let's see does it start the download ah it does and it's 60 megabytes so it is working but uh, let's see ah it is downloading great okay let's see top this is not going to be done but it, it is not receiving anything is it yum install that we get uh -huh. this is the problem <laughs> okay sudo shutdown dash r zero i'm going to restart the centos machine because apparently it just lost the internet connection okay once the machine has rebooted system is going down all right Mm 
now it is restarting great so once the machine is up again we are going to log in and issue the command okay so now it looks better it will take some time to complete but after the download is complete what we have to do is to make sure that the GitLab runner is executable then add uh, basically a user for the GitLab runner and then register the runner to our GitLab host or GitLab instance so let's see GitLab runner windows do we have a windows runner <gasps> we have and i'm starting up the 2020 a2a machine and we will see how it works so now it was downloaded what we have to do is to use the chmod to change the permission and use the user at command this is going to basically create a user and then let me switch to super user and we will have to issue the gitlab runner install we have the home and the user for it and the gitlab runner status is stopped and the gitlab runner should be able to register so now what i will do is to use this command and it should register it so instance url is okay registration token is okay description is CentOS 8 runner and let's call this shared Linux and enter maintenance note is not needed has been deprecated successfully registered and this is going to be an SSH executor no sorry shell executor and this authentication token was saved and so on gitlab runner status and start great so now we should have this runner it is online however what we either have to do is to add the tag of shared or linux to our cicd definition or configure the runner so that it is uh, basically accepting jobs without tags so now if we go to these jobs you can see that is it is stuck so what we can do is to add here in the hmm, pipeline editor okay and tags uh, linux and we want to add it to all of our tasks all right commit changes and checking pipeline status and if we go to the pipelines it says that it has failed but at least it started to run so why did it fail oh i know 
git command was not found. So, uh, in order to check out the repository, you have to install git. And we, we are going to install it, rerun the pipeline, and it should be done. Okay, now what I want to do is to download this 64-bit binary for Windows. And then we would like to basically create a folder, install it, and register it to our instance. Okay, so the git is going to be installed. And let's do it for the Windows machine as well. So I'm going to... How do I send this? Ah, great. Now we are in the machine. And once the download completes, I'm going to copy the runner. Until then, let's wait for the git command to complete. It may be a good idea to uh, restart the runner, so it picks up the git executable. And now, we can go and retry this pipeline. Now it is running. and it has passed. So technically, if we have the pipeline definition with the appropriate text, it is going to be able to run it. Or if we go to the admin area, and basically under CICD runners, we go to this one, and click on this icon then we have the option to edit it and here is a section which would allow us to run untagged jobs let's save it and if i go back to my project administrator gitlab ci yaml and edit it i can remove these tags and commit it and once this is done under the pipelines i will see that it started running so since the runner is configured so it accepts untagged jobs it is going to allow or pick up this pipeline and execute it and now it has also passed all right echo building Great. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah, this has downloaded. So now I want to copy it and go to the Windows machine. Let's put it in full screen and paste it. I love this feature of VMware Workstation when you can copy one, one thing on the host and then basically paste it in a virtual machine. So now we are going to have this GitLab runner folder under program files and paste it here. So now what I want to do is to open up a command prompt. All right. And navigate to the C program files, git lab runner. And here I want to execute the git lab runner windows install. Okay. And let's install it as a user administrator 
and the password. Okay. Sorry, we have to uninstall it. And let's reinstall it. Or the password is what? Install dash dash help. Install service. And we want to have a working directory. So new wd and here let's copy it and oh maybe i have to run it as administrator and see the program files gitlab runner and go ahead and gitlab Runner install and we have the working directory which is going to be in between quotes the path and dash dash user administrator dash dash password Wow, it was uh, the missing administrator privileges. All right. And what we would like to do is to register the runner. So GitLab runner, dash dash help. And we want to register it. And this is a similar command as to what we did on uh, Linux. So technically, if I go here under the admin area, under CI CD runners, and check the instructions, this should be the part that we need. And we use the GitLab. Runner register center 8a. Ho ho! Instance URL center 8a. Can we ping it? Ping center 8a. Ah, that's not going to work. So, notepad Windows system 32 drivers at C host. And 192, 168, 56, 100, 108, A. Let's save it and ping it. All right, now the registration should complete. All right, token description, that's perfectly fine. Tags, shared, windows and no maintenance mode and we are going to have a shell executor and gitlab runner dash start so start and status hmm services.msc gitlab runner system event log event viewer windows logs system Do we see anything on the web interface? Yeah, 
but it has never contacted. Error. Incorrect function. So let's see. Help. GitLab runner verify. Runtime patla platform is alive. Properties. Log on. Okay, so now let's see our TONL file. Okay, CentOS 8A. Great. Cannot start GitLab runner service. Windows. Debug. That's working. And let's check. One single missing token. So now we have two online runners. For whatever reason, the service is still not running. But it 
it should be of no relevance. Created missing is existing. Alright, for now we will leave it as it is. If I figure out what's the problem, uh, I'm going to show you. So technically this is how we can add a Windows runner. See you in the next one. So by the time I <laughs> rendered the video I found the solution to the service not running and I think I just append this one to the original video. So basically we can we have to use the GitLab runner uninstall command. And once it is uninstalled, we should see it gone from the services. And we have to use the GitLab runner install dash dash user dot backslash username dash dash password and between quotes the password for that user and that way if I go and start it it is going to be able to start <laughs> all right and the first step of the troubleshooting in the FAQ section so now you can see we have two online runners. All right, that was all. See you in the next one.